Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Akash Biology. In today's video, we will be continuing our previous video that was on IgG and IgA. So in this video, we will talk about the immunoglobin M. So in order to know about the immunoglobin M, we need to remember mnemonic that is the power of 5 or the immunoglobin of 5. So what is the immunoglobin of 5? So the immunoglobin of 5 means it is 5% of total serum immunoglobin serum immunoglobin first of all this thing similarly it is present in 0 0.5 to 2 mg per ml of serum so this is again rule of 5 third thing is its half life is also 5 days the half life is 5 days and it is a pentameric molecule what pentameric molecule so if you got to know these five things then immunoglobin m can be mastered so talking about this thing this is the largest immunoglobin what largest immunoglobin so you think that you need to know is it is the largest immunoglobin in our body and it is comprises the five percent of the total immunoglobin that is present in our body then after that its concentration in the serum is very very low so it is what 0 0.5 to up to 2 mg mg per ml of serum and then its half life is what its half life is 5 days now coming on to the pentameric molecule how it is a pentameric molecule you can copy this now we'll heading towards the main thing so it is a pentameric molecule you need to remember this word this is the pentameric molecule means it is present five in number as a single molecule so let's say this is a chain of events this is single thing then this is what the five immunoglobin one two three four five the light chain light chain light chain so what we can see there's a five immunoglobin attached to each other so this is the pentameric molecule by because the five IGs are attached and there is only one J chain. What? One J chain. So the one J chain is comprising or the communicating or the joining five immunoglobulins. That is the IgM. That's why it is a large macromolecule. What? Large molecule. That's why it is often known as macroglobulin. What? Macroglobulin or the millionaire millionaire molecule you might be asked in the entrance examination these are the nicknames of the igm molecules because they are present as a five so it is what it is not present a dry or trimer it is present as a pentamer this is the thing that you need to know and coming on to the valency what the valency of igm igm so valency simply means how much molecule of antigen it can attached so the reason of the antibody that attracts the antigen is known as but paratop so let's say this is the immunoglobin so this part is known as what paratop what paratop and let's say this is the antigen then the part of antigen that will encounter that will communicate with the uh, antibody is the what epitop what epitop so there are what we can see there are two reasons one fe fragment two fe fragment that is one antibody contains two fab fragments so that's why one immunoglobin contains two fab fragments but here it is a pentameric molecule so, so there are what 10 fab fragments what 10 fab fragments that's why its valency is 10 you need to know about this thing what the valency of igm is 10 because it contains 10 fab fragments that means it can attach or it can communicate with the 10 molecules of antigen at a single time so this signifies how much strong this immunoglobin is in our body now coming on to the secretions what secretions if you have seen my previous videos of immunoglobins and igg then you can know about this whenever we are being encountered with any of the infections or the pathogens means any of the pathogen will attack in our body then our body try to produce what the antibody so the first antibody that is produced is the what igm 
but this is the Ig immunoglobin. So the first antibody that will arise is the IgM. So the IgM is from what primary immune response. What primary immune response in our body? Because IgG is the first immunoglobin to be formed in in the what occurrence of any of the infections in our body. But the thing that you need to know, it has a half life of only what five days. What only five days. That's why it rises and then fades. But after some time, when it is fading, then what IgG will arise and it will be present up to the what the infection persists or the infections fades. So the IgM is the primary immune response immunoglobin IgM. Now the thing that you need to know another thing. It is the first immunoglobulin that is being what forming in the fetus or the fetus forms itself because let's say this is mother very big figure so let's say this is mother and this is a child the both are connected by what the placenta or umbilical placenta umbilical cord let's say placenta and umbilical cord umbilical cord so the mother can only transfer what igm igg so the mother will transfer what IgG to the child, but the child is not forming IgG because the child IgG is being transformed from the mother. So if we are being asked which of the following immunoglobin crosses the placenta is the IgG, but actually the child when the child is what above twenty weeks of gestation, what twenty weeks of gestation, then the child will only produce what IgM. So the first immunoglobin that is being produced by the fetus is what IgM not the IgG because the IgG is being transferred to the child passively but the actively the child is only secreting IgM. So the first or the primary immune response or the phylogenetically the first immunoglobin that is pro being produced in the child is the IgM. Now it has a very unique or very significance. So, if before let's say the child is what 70 17 weeks only old and if we do a what the serum analysis and if we are getting IgM this means the child is being infected with something because the production of antibody will only occur when there is antigen productions or the antigen is being entering in our body let's say this is a child let's say this is a child so antigen Whenever the antigen goes inside the child, then the child will produce what? The antibody. But the child can physiologically in the normal conditions can only produce IgM after 20 weeks. What? After 20 weeks. But in 17 weeks, it is producing IgM. Means there must be some infection or some antigen that is provoking the body to produce premature IgM. So that is a very that has got a very important significance in our body. So let's say I'm, can we, I will elaborate in Nepali. Bhaniko matlab, IgM matra 20 weeks bhaisa ke paachi matra production huncha. Tiyo bandha agari haamro body ma, bacha ko features ma, jom ma cha, tis ma production huncha sak dae na. Tara, ki bhaio, aba kuni pa ni bacha ka haamro serum analysis or amniocentesis haru bhaar cha. Tis ma serum pa ni hao cha. 17 weeks ma gharda kheri, usko ma IgM dekhiyo. Bhani kora normally kati ma onupar 20 weeks pochi. Tar 17 weeks ma ayka matlab kiche esko ma kune pakki antigen in the form of bacteria or virus gaar pola. Ko usko par na fule bachan lai ki nikano par raya cha IgM nikano par raya cha. Ra yo IgM thulo huna karan le ta plas niya wata pani pas huna sa kya to pakki cha hai na. Esko matlab yeh fetus le nai pahila nika ale ko cha. That's why it is indicative of any of the infections. To infection kune huna saksa toxoplasmosis or sometimes HIV. Syphilis, rubella, measles, mumps, kuni pani huna saksa. And then the need to know, IgM immunoglobin has a very important significance. So when our, after this, uh, now we are becoming adult. Now we are adult. So if we are being infected with what syphilis or any typhoid or any of the infections, so the main immunoglobin that is taking part is what? IgM, what? IgM because primary immune response is being formed by IgM. Now, 
how can we differentiate between IgG and IgM because they both are helping us to encounter with the infections. Now if we are doing serum analysis then how can we know? So if we extract then we will get what IgM and IgG both if we extract a serum. Then we have to treat it with 0.212 molar to mercap to mercap to ethanol. So this is the chemical which will only act on what IgM and will destroy it. So whenever we will extract the serum, then we will treat it. Then we will getting both IgM as well IgG, and well we will <coughs> treat this mixture with the this chemical. Then IgM will be destroyed out, and we are getting IgG. So whenever the how can we calculate the IgM means total serum minus IgG then we are getting the value of IgM indirectly this is the process now coming on to the function the main functions and the thing that you need to know the main site of action of IgM is what the blood blood or the intravascular blood or intravascular compartment so so if the concentration of IgM will lessen in the blood, then we will suffering from what? The septicemia. Septicemia. So the septicemia is indicative of what? The less in the value of what? Immunoglobin M. Similarly, it is acting mainly on the viruses or the bacteria that has got polysaccharide covering. What? Polysaccharide. Polysaccharide covering. So any of the bacteria which has a polysaccharide covering is mainly being attacked by what? The IgM. What? IgM. Similarly, it has the highest avidity among any of the molecule. Because avidity means whenever one part of the antibody will attach to one antigen, then it will enhance the capacity of other antibody as well to attach to another antigen. So as it has 10 antigen binding sites, so it has the maximum avidity. That's why it is the strongest immunoglobin among all and it has the highest molecular weight. That's why it cannot go to the tissue. It is only confined to the what? Blood. Similarly, it acts, it is very much what? And it has got 10 antigen binding sites, which so is the strongest immunoglobin among all. And it is <coughs> equivalent to what? 1000 IgG molecules in immune hemolysis what immune hemolysis similarly what uh, thousand times more so in your level only the thousand times more uh, active than the IgG and the last thing is um, there is also monomeric IgM what monomeric IgM monomeric IgM so monomeric IgM means IgM is present as a single antibody it is present along with what IgD that I will be dealing about next lecture. So monomeric IgM plus IgD both are present in immature or the net B lymphocytes. So if we are being asked which of the following forms of which of the following immunoglobin present in NIAF B lymphocyte. NIAF B lymphocyte means <coughs> That B lymphocyte that has not yet encountered with any of the antigens or that has not been pro processed well to encounter with the antigens. So this all video is all about IgM immunoglobin and my humble request to you all if you find my videos helpful then do share and there is a link below of my Facebook page Akas Biology where you can review or review your experience in my videos. And it is my humble request to you all. So if you are finding any of the help, then do review my page and do recommend with your friends. Stay tuned and connected. Thank you.